Hi you guys, thanks again for coming back to see another video. Um, as you can see by the title, this is going to be an emergency kit slash mom edition. Now the reason why I'm doing it mom edition because I do have teenager daughters and I would actually make a kit for them. And I see a lot of young ladies here on YouTube making their emergency kits for back to school which is really, really great because I never thought that a lot of girls would even think about even having something like that you know to carry around most girls you know when you're a teenager you kind of scared that people might know certain things that you don't want people to know so this is my addition far as mommy goes mommy mode that I prepare that I would prepare for my teenage daughter so first off I have this little uh, little bag here and it's a little cosmetic bag that I think is essential to put everything in. I don't think you need a big old bag because you really want to focus on school and studying and whatever the teacher has to tell you. I think that's the important thing. But we do know that things happen throughout the day, okay? So there's going to be some things you're going to need. And it's best to have them that way you're not asking your friends. They might not have them. They might need it as well. So let's get on to what's in my bag. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is a scrunchie. Now the reason why I have a scrunchie in here is because I understand you guys have gym, PE, whatever you guys call it nowadays, you know, where you might need to uh, tie your hair up, get it out your way. Um, if you have chemistry, you might need to tie your hair up, different things like that. So I would recommend that you always uh, carry a scrunchie, even when you're in class writing or testing. You know how you down, you're riding, and your hair can fall in your face, whereas you're not focusing. It's good to have a scrunchie. And sometimes, you know, I'm like, I see most kids carry it on their wrist. Sometimes I do as well. So, first thing is a scrunchie. The next thing I'm going to pull out here is uh, oh, Tylenol. You can find the travel ones at Walmart, Target, and they're like a dollar and some change or two dollars. Um, it's good to carry these around, and I would suggest that you kind of have the ones like this one here. If your teacher see you, I don't know if it's gonna. It's not gonna focus on the writing, but with these, it does have Tylenol on it. It does actually say Tylenol on the pill. That way, you won't get in trouble our teacher won't be thinking that you're popping pills because yes we all know that it's unfortunate that there are drugs in school nowadays so you just want to be on the safe side if your teacher do catch you um, taking pills or even just tell them hey I gotta take some Tylenol you know I'm not feeling good so always keep some Tylenol in your bag because you never know you just never know the next thing I'm gonna pull out here is some chapstick I have here the Burt's Bees pomegranate you know your um, lips might get a little chap and depending on where you at like I live in Arizona so we have a lot of dry heat your lips can get trapped that way if you're in a cold weather you know they also still can get chapped so I would focus so much on like makeup because you're going to school to learn so just carrying around I mean you can do your makeup while you at home but let's just say trying to apply it and all that trying to look all cute throughout the day no you're going to school to learn so I will recommend some chapstick if your uh, lips get chapped and things like that and some of these chapsticks like this one has a little tint on it as you guys can see there so that'll give you a little color you know but just applying makeup and all that like I said you want to focus on school what you're getting up there is the most thing that's important the next thing I have here, which I carry these with me, and I, like I said, I get them for my daughters, is the Dentex uh, flossing things. Oop, come like that. <laughs> and you can always refill it. It's a nice, slim, easy case. You can always refill it in case you get, you know, food stuck in your teeth and you need to pick it out. You know, you do eat. I uh, hope they serve you guys lunch or you go buy lunch. Um, like my daughter, a lot of times she goes out and buy lunch, so it's good to have some, um, floss so you can get this stuff out your teeth next going on to that when you're eating I have here is this cool mint Listerine pocket mist now I know like most schools and I know growing up hi baby I know most schools to where the teachers the schools don't allow you to chew, chew gum and you do eat so 
not to have funky breath and you talking all in your friend all in your friend's face and just <sighs> you know how that is use some listerine kiddos just spray and go and this is really really strong <laughs> so yes you have that next thing I have here is some um, sanitizer um, y'all know how y'all kids are very germy it seems like when they go back to school y'all come back with those colds and just everything so I would recommend you just carry a little small thing of sanitizer you know you guys shake hands you hugging each other or you pick up something off the ground or you touching opening doors keep some sanitizer to keep those little germs away that way you're not out of school having your parents to take off well by that age your parents are not taking off most of you guys are being home by yourself but that way you don't miss a lot of school because it can be one day that you can not go to school and you can miss something that's very very important to you that will help you in your life in the long run trust me so keep some sanitizer to keep those journeys down next thing I have here is some lotion and this is by Victoria's Secret it doesn't matter what lotion you get um, your hands can if you even if you use the sanitizer your hands can dry out but you know just not to have ashy hands yes baby um, I would recommend some hand lotion so it's always good to have some hand lotion with you just to um, moisturize your hands um, throughout today especially if you get ashy hands and it could get to where it irritates you from you know writing you know um, some people do suffer from um, dry skin you know so I recommend just have a little small hand lotion it doesn't have to be this particular brand um, it can be any brand as long as you get your hands moisturized the next thing I'm going to show you guys here is some um, wipes um you just never know when you might need them um to clean your hands e even if you don't have the uh sanitizer okay uh after you get through eating wipe your hands if you can't go directly through the bathroom um it's just always good to have some wet ones little hand wipes to um clean and not only that um you can also have like maybe a small travel size of baby wipes when you guys have PE, if you need to refresh yourself, use those things um, to wipe down your arms from sweating and things like that. So I recommend some wet ones. Pads. Now you never know when you might need one. I recommend you always carry one in your purse, even not at school. Wherever you go, in your bag, your backpack, your purse, always carry you some type of napkin. Um, some kids carry tampons. Uh, but I just had this out like my daughter one of them likes tampons and the other one likes pads so always carry you some protection okay this is pretty much what it is <laughs> for that time of the month okay just only for that time of the month because um, like I said you just never know when mother nature might creep up on you when your fairy godmother just might come and say hello I'm here that way you have yourself protected okay on with that, I will also recommend some cleansing cloth for you to clean yourself um, because it can get a little overbearing. We all know that. Um, just make sure you stay fresh. If you start, keep these with you to clean yourself when you're changing. And I recommend go and change them pads. Girl, don't be at school all day with the same Kotex and the same pad. First of all, it's not healthy at all. It really isn't. And I recommend you clean yourself after that. You can find these little uh, things at Walmart, Target, any drugstore, CVS, Walgreens. All of them pretty much carry these. Cleansing cloth, clean yourself, keep yourself fresh. The next thing I will recommend here is uh, body spray. I know a lot of you girls carry the big ones. I don't recommend the big ones because you need room for your books. That's why I recommend just this little travel bag and everything was in this little bag here. Um, you need room for your books. That's more important. That's the reason why you're going to school. So if you can find you a small little spray bottle to spray yourself throughout the day, um, after PE, you know, after you, you know, uh, your gym, um, dance, whatever you might have, spray yourself. Keep yourself smelling good. You know, you don't want to have. So just keep a little spray. Spray yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. And I also always 
give these to my daughters to carry in their purse or in their bag. The last, no, not the last thing. One more thing I have here. Two more things I have to show you here are band-aids. Just in case you fall, get a cut, uh, a scratch, anything, carry a band-aid with you. Um, you never know when you're going to need it. I always carry band-aids with me. Even me being an adult, I don't go to scoop. I still carry them. Not only for me, but for my little one too. So, it's always good to carry a band-aid. The last thing I'm going to show you is an emergency. Oh, money. You never know when you might need an extra dollar or so. So try to stash it. Don't spend it. Do a stash of a couple of dollars because you never know when you just might need it for that day. Okay? I know they sell like game tickets and you don't have your money, but sometimes they sell them for cheaper or that day. So you have a little extra money to go get it or whatever the case may be. So I'll just, just never know. Always carry some money with you. So that's all that I have to show you guys far as my emergency kit mom edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was beneficial to some young lady out there. Um, just coming from a mom's point of view, I have teenagers, so I can, I understand, you know, and I'm a woman myself. So trust me, I understand. So I just hope that this video helps somebody. Thanks again for stopping by, clicking that button and watching my video. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I love interacting with you guys. So please. Click those buttons, talk to me, subscribe for more videos. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.